In this section, we're going to learn how to create animation in a transient simulation. In previous part, we learned how to create animation for a steady-state simulation, but uh, here we have a totally different project because it's transient. And as you know, in a transient simulation, we don't just have a single uh, data file because uh, in every time step or with an interval for example after each five time step we have uh, saved the results and, and we have uh, many data files for this section i have imported a vertical axis wind turbine which is simulated in two dimensional so i normalize on the geometry to see how it's going it contains a rotating part and a stationary section and we want to uh, see the velocity uh, distribution along this uh, domain within the time. So uh, before doing anything, I should create a contour, just like always. But uh, because our geometry is two-dimensional, I don't need a section plane anymore. So directly, I create a contour. I want to create it on both sections. So I use the I use this three dot option click on this button and then uh, by using control on my keyboard I uh, select both of them and then define the variable to velocity with the local range and then apply it it may take some time because our domain is very large and uh, we have a fine mesh grid here it is but uh, as I said we have uh, many different data files in different time steps so on the upper toolbar we have an option which is time step selector or uh, we can find it in tools tab if I open this window as you can see there are a list of different time steps in interval of five I mean I have saved the files after each five time steps and uh, it starts from 0 to 1800 steps it means that our wind turbine rotates about five times if i click on any of these uh, time steps and apply that the animation or let's say uh, the contour will update to the specific time so just wait a minute okay here it is the updated animation in a specific time but how to create an animation out of these uh, contours because we know that uh, gathering of these contours means uh, an animation as you can see on the right side of the window there is an option which is animate time step or I can use uh, the animation on the upper toolbar or again from uh, tools tab so I open it from here in the opening window you can see the type mode is automatically on time step animation and here is a range for different time steps by changing it from the uh, first of animation to the last time step I can update the contour for example I release the range to the fifth time step so the animation will update to that specific time again it's just like I uh, select five from uh, previous part time step selection. We can control the animation by uh, time step or the time. Uh, for example, if I use time, then I can specify a range for the animation. For example, I want to uh, extract an animation from the first second to the second second. But uh, usually we use time step to control and uh, if you click on this little plus button there would be many uh, advanced options to control the uh, frame selection for example you can specify the frames by the number for example if i uh, enter 20 then the software will automatically uh, calculate it and divide the whole time steps by 20 so our animation would be created out of just 20 sections or let's say frames and there are some op other options like the time interval for example I can uh, 
order that after each second the animation would be updated or just do the same thing with the time step for example after each five time steps the animation would be updated but uh, right now I want uh, the full time steps so uh, get to next part repeat we can repeat the animation for uh, from one time to infinitive and also if you want to save the animation on your computer hard disk you just need to enable the save movie and then define a directory and the format of the video and if you open options then you can have uh, many options relating to resolution and the quality of video after setting all of the settings your desired setting you just need to click on this play button then the animation will start to save or to just shown 